Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with having. In the world of men, we are often seen to be, well, men. In other words, we notice when a pretty woman goes by. We notice a line of a face, a jawline, a smile, some eyes, and other parts that we might not want to talk about because it could be to our own disgrace. But the reality is we are men, and we do know what we want and what we don't want. We also know who we like and who we don't like. We also know what is beautiful and gorgeous to us and what is not. And while my Japanese spouse did the graciousness, graciousness of aging her way, it was her way, and I still loved her every day. You see, she was absolutely beautiful when I met her and remained beautiful to me all of our life. And no matter how many additional pounds she, she should to put on, no matter how many different times, times she changed her hairstyle over our lifetime together, I still loved my wife. In life, we have those liaisons, but it doesn't matter with the passage of time that we still have those positive feelings for them. They could be a co-worker, they could be a colleague, they could be an old friend, they could be a sports friend, but we haven't seen in a long time. But what happens a lot of times in today's world of technology is that people try to be people by editing their videos and using them slung together to make conversations on a telephone that sound real, and they're not. It's called basically social engineering. Social engineering is also a concept that allows places and social media companies to try to put in front of you the ads and the, the information or the content that you might be interested in based on the content that you create and the content that you view.